Hi everybody, this is John again. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick overview today of a product called Glogster and specifically Glogster EDU or the educational version of Glogster.com. The uh, educational version of Glogster is particularly helpful for teachers because it gives you kind of an overview of what your students are doing, it allows you to manage a couple of student accounts and in the um, premium version of the education software you can actually uh, manage multiple classrooms and multiple users within those classrooms so on edu.glogster.com there's a couple of pages first of all what is Glogster and it gives you a rundown of not only what the product is but uh, specifically the creation interface some of the key features uh, notes some notes about edu premium uh, about sharing and then how to use the .edu and then goes on to talk about some benefits and features so you can certainly read uh, some of that but from my perspective it's been particularly helpful to create blogs for students but also have that sort of administrative control level that most teachers would uh, would desire with a student project like this there's also a quick top 10 list called classroom benefits that the blogster uh, folks have put together and I would have to agree with with most of these um, specifically that it's a new way to express creativity that students can really take ownership of of their own blog much like they do a web page but again uh, lumped under your own uh, sort of private safe secure virtual classroom which is pretty helpful um, it uses a lot of web 2.0 features that's true uh, it does increase creativity and um, improve student teacher relationships and then also allows for a number of any um, any sharing sites that uh, that students would want to do to to publish their work. Um, there's some information on the EDU premium and pricing, and then a quick comparison of the EDU basic versus EDU premium, and how to manage, uh, you know, what you're looking for out of out of either a free account or the, uh, or the premium account. Um, one disadvantage of the free account is that there is advertisement uh, or advertising that does show up. So if you're looking to get rid of that advertising, you may need to uh, go with the EDU premium. So you might want to check into some of that pricing if you find that helpful. Um, but I've gone ahead and set up a Glogster premium account, or Glogster, I'm sorry, not a premium account, free account. Um, so we can take a look at the dashboard of what teachers would see and how to manage that. And then in the second of these tutorials, we will take a look at the actual creation of a new blog. So Glogster uh, is designed as a way for students to create a wall, essentially, of uh, interactive material, whether it be videos or uh, audio or pictures or all of the above, and then share that information with either the class or with, uh, with their friends or even have uh, class projects where students could comment on other students' projects. Uh, so here in your dashboard, you can have access to any of your student accounts that you would create here I've just set up a group of student generic users and then gone ahead and made one of uh, one user there we'll look at that in just a second but up at the top you can manage your own individual profile you have an inbox where if students wanted to post messages or if Glogster had messages that they needed to send to you you could certainly make use of that feature uh, and then there's a bunch of kind of large blocks that don't really help you very much uh, but that's kind of beside the point uh, down towards the middle, just below the fold, you'll see uh, classes. And that's an EDU premium thing again, that if you have the premium license, you can set up multiple classes and then put students in them. Uh, what is particularly handy, though, and kind of tucked in, a, in an odd place, is this new logs from classmates. And so anytime your students are creating logs and updating logs, you can actually subscribe to the RSS feed for any news or updates from your classroom, which is particularly helpful. Um, also, EDU projects um, it's also available in the premium version. Then down towards the bottom, you have a list of your blogs that you're working on, and how you can share those either via uh, link or via embed uh, iframe source code into your blog or to your classroom wiki page. And then some favorite tags down there towards the bottom. So that's pretty much it about your dashboard and kind of the quick overview of the product, the EDU product more on tutorials on Glogster in just a second, in the second version.